How is everybody doing? We're going to take a look at Chicago, um, the studio albums. On the left we have um, from 1969 to 1978 and on the right from 1979 to 2008. Um, first I ever heard of Chicago um, was when I was a kid back in the mid 70s. They had a big hit with um, a song called If You Leave Me Now. It was on the radio every morning. <laughs> uh, kind of a love ballad. And um, then, of course, around 1982, they had um, I have to say I'm sorry. That was another big hit. And then um, in 1984, they had a huge hit with um, Hard Happy to Break. Um, but I never really um, investigated their music. Um, I know that Peter Satira was the singer in the band for some of it. Um, he went off on his own in the mid 80s. Um, so, but people had always said, oh yeah, Chicago, the early stuff is incredible, you know, from the 60s up all through 70s. They had some groundbreaking stuff. And uh, I just kind of, I like Chicago 17, I have it on vinyl and I, I've been listening to it a lot lately and then I just um, discovered that they had some box sets and uh, I had to pull the trigger so um, all or nothing with me and uh, we're going to take a look at them so um, like I said this is going to be a treasure trove because I know nothing about the band I've been watching a couple of documentaries on um, YouTube um, so yeah it's great. Uh, I like bands like that that have been around for donkey's years, and uh, they've got a big back catalogue. Some really good music. So, so yeah, this one is um, the box sets are beautiful. On Rhino, Warner Brother, so, uh, miniature, playing with sleeves. So this is the first one, um, Chicago. Transit Authority, just what the band were calling the early days. Um, yeah, I've never heard any of this. Nice discs. Um, the early stuff um, is quite soulful, jazzy, funky. They did a lot of uh, different things. Uh, this is Chicago 2. Some bonus tracks on this. Uh, same theme follows through with all the discs, I guess. Chicago 3. Some good bonus tracks, remastered as well. to uh, start listening to them. We've heard a lot of good things. Um, I like the miniature um, vinyl sleeves, they're great. You know, they take up very little space as well. But I, I always thought that CD should have had miniature sleeves just like vinyl. The plastic boxes are terrible. Um, yeah, I can't wait. Um, I don't know much about them, like uh, like I said, but um, I've been listening to some uh, key tracks on Spotify, and um, I like what I hear. Um, the guitarist um, Terry Katz accidentally shot himself in 1978. And uh, some people say the band was never the same without uh, without him. So this is the second box. Um, it's great that you can still buy um, 
physical copies. Um, and there's in the digital downloading age. This is the disco album, I think they call it. Produced by Phil Ramon. Yeah, I was looking at some um, forums and stuff, and they said this was the worst one. This was supposed to be another weak one as well. And it's great that they got the bonus tracks as well. Yeah, you really feel you're getting value for money. Um, this is from 1982, Chicago 16. Um, I have a copy of that somewhere. Um, this is um, when they were produced by uh, David Foster. They had a whole new sound. Um, production on these albums is great. Um, it's contemporary for the for for the era. Um, and um, Peter Cetera was responsible for kind of commercializing the band. Um, which isn't a bad thing, you know. Chicago 17, I already have this, like I said. Um, it's a fantastic album, I really like it. Um, bonus tracks here as well, great. Um, yeah, this song is incredible. Um, hard Habit to Break is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to this. Mm. This is uh, the first one after Peter Cetera left uh, from 1986, I think it was. Mm. Started just going downhill from here, I think. Yeah, this is when they kind of became out of favor with uh, people. Terrible album cover. Hmm. Looks like a covers album. And this is the very last one, the Stone of Sisyphus. Sisyphus. <laughs> Um, I think this one was recorded in 93-94 and shelved by the record company until 2008. Uh, so there you go, that's it. So that's it, I'm going to go off and listen to these. Um, yeah, I can't wait to hear them. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you like it, uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, take care.